Good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for, for being here. I am uh, Bertrand uh, Kembu, uh, professor of practice in northern Arizona State. And uh, before I start my presentations, I'd like to thank uh, the, the AAS and the Lemelson Foundations for this program. I'm so proud to be part of it. And I have also to say I'm really humbled by uh, my peers and colleagues and what's, what's out there here. Um, I am a physicist. And um, I study uh, electrical engineering and uh, with the objective of using it for nanotechnologies and, uh, and, uh, and, and microelectronic in general. And uh, this is a very rich field that can, be, can do a lot of things for us. And, and some of the work I did has been uh, developing the manufacturing for components like gallium nitride and gallium arsenide that actually are very important for the fabrications of uh, white LED or Blu-ray LEDs, um, uh, high frequency power, uh, also working on micro machining device sensor. Uh, those two lines alone, uh, I have to say that about uh, what 70% of all uh, blue LEDs in the world are using this work. Uh, we have about 400 uh, citations and licensing on the smart microprocessor and so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of that work is, is again, is very practical here. Then I, I, I switch and walk into the memory of mass productions of, uh, of uh, magnetic memories and, and flash memories. And uh, recently uh, I, I, I took the responsibilities for the three universities in Arizona. Arizona State, uh, University of Arizona, and uh, Northern Arizona to, to put the program together on cybersecurity and how to use uh, nanotechnology for cybersecurity. And the reason is, is because with the Internet of Things, uh, you start to have objects everywhere that has to be secure, and you can actually plant nanomaterials to make them all uh, uh, protected than, let us say, a self-driving car you don't want somebody else to drive it for you, <laughs> or so on and so forth. And there is a, there is a very hot program here. However, for today, uh, we had a very good coach here. And I am going to narrow the topic to the last one. Uh, and, and this is essentially a rethinking power storage. And that is essentially the, the area I'm going to, to, to zoom in. Why do we need to store energy? Uh, the first one is, is to, uh, to balance energy productions with natural sources, uh, uh, wind, uh, sun. Uh, during the night, you still need electricity. You need to store it somewhere, uh, which means that uh, is extremely important to respond to, to peak hour. Um, then you, you want to store energy for electric vehicle. And in this case, you want to go as far as you can. Uh, without uh, recharging, and you, you know the importance uh, for the global uh, you know, uh, warming reductions to, to use this kind of technology. And uh, also you use it for all type of mobile devices of all type, phone, airplane, uh, laptop. Uh, there is also uh, very importance to use it to you know, artificial leg medical applications. Uh, what you see in this picture here, the bulk of the leg is actually a battery uh, that has to, 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 to bring the power you need to advance, which means that uh, storing energy is, uh, is a big deal. Now, uh, at the end of the day, what you need is to pack as much power as you can into a battery. And, and that is going to be the, 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 the holy grail for, for the technology. Well, I'd I like to share with you a personal experience. I was with my son in, uh, in Phoenix. It's a hot place, as you know. <laughs> and uh, we had uh, a racing car uh, event with electric car. And I thought it was very cool. Of course, you know, having my young son to be sensitized to the new technology. Uh, and it turned out that electric cars are very powerful. You have an incredible amount of torque. You know, pretty soon you're going to see the, the faster car on the planet are going to be electric car. Well, we had about 4,000 people, and then one of the cars was way ahead. They were kind of uh, yeah, uh, so impressive, and you know, everybody was cheering, and it was kind of motivating. And then, bada boom, the, uh, the car exploded, the battery exploded, and you had acidic smoke 
flying over the 4,000 people, including me and my son, which in as far as motivating him for the <laughs> alternative energy, we had, uh, you know, that was a false start. <laughs> and uh, you know, at the end of the day, if you think about that, uh, the exercise of packing energy in a, in a, in a, in a small uh, uh, confined uh, uh, location is the same exercise in making a bomb. And uh, that's essentially what you want. Uh, and, and you can see and read all over the news, and, and I pick a few examples here, and, and I'm not going to drill on those particular examples here, but you do have accident. And, and of course, as you see, that the, the industry tried to increase the range and to do that and to do this. You know, I could have put scooter here, I could have put cell phone, you know, here I put plane and car. But it is, um, it is a dangerous, uh, you know, approach. Which means that what's really exciting here uh, is that two of my colleagues, uh, Dr. Schokanel and uh, Dr. Brower, uh, in 2010, arrived with essentially why not using a component well known is a supercapacitor. Uh, that is essentially an element that, that, that essentially can take power very quickly. The problem with supercapacitor, they are very heavy. And they weight about 10 times more than the batteries. That was, they are not that used. But their idea is, say, well, we're going to essentially, because the Cornell, the, the nice gentleman here, is from the mechanical uh, engineering department. And he said, well, you know, I'm going to build something as part of the world, something strong. And, uh, and the Cindy essentially find a way to have chemical component to do that. So that was essentially the, the, the idea. Now, we took that idea to the next level, and we created the little, little team. I'm part of it as, the, as a nanomaterial uh, electrical engineer of the team. And what we, what we are trying to do is say one step further is to use carbon fiber to store power. Now, carbon fiber is fascinating because, uh, I don't know if you, if you know, but uh, it is becoming... Uh, so important. Uh, the car right now are getting lighter and lighter uh, because you start to use carbon fiber. This carbon fiber is strong, is, is, is uh, essentially uh, light, uh, is, uh, on the, on the, is green because, uh, you know, obviously you, do, you, can, you, you don't have to worry that much about the pollutions. Uh, it's stiff is, uh, and so on and so forth. And the, the reason that this is really cool uh, as, as an ID is because if essentially we can find a way to use what we need to use anyhow, which is carbon fiber, to store power, then you don't need to have a big battery anymore. Uh, you can make it small uh, and light. And then there's another, you know, uh, you don't have to put it in one location. You can actually spread it around, which means that the, 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 the danger go, go down. Uh, 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 it is very, very fast to charge it. Uh, which means that when you uh, decelerate, uh, you can actually take the energy and charge it, and then you have it available uh, on the spot. Uh, which means uh, this is a really, really exciting uh, area, and we essentially are, are, are making a great progress. Now, where are we on this? We actually have walking sample. And here this is a picture of a commercial fiber uh, carbon fiber, and the, the, one of the key things here is to be able to use it into mechanical structure, you have to eliminate the, the gel, because in batteries you use a gel to, to put, even in capacitor, you know, you have gel. Now gel has a lousy mechanical properties. It is, it is, it's not going to be acceptable. It's going to squeeze and, and leak and so on and so forth, which means that we developed a carbon solid uh, polymer. Electro, uh, electrolyte that essentially is rugged like a rock, uh, and we have those, those sample working. And uh, you know, this, uh, you know, this is kind of a recent work that I'm sharing here, uh, and we have patents that we, you know, that we put together, which is kind of you know, where, where are we going to be coming from there? Now, of course, we have a huge, uh, huge work ahead of us. Uh, this, is a, this is a new concept, which means that we need to find industrial partner, we need to fund it properly, we need to optimize you know, all the concept. But the vision here is, you know, what about the dream coming true and we get electric car lighter, safer, going longer? 
uh, solar energy, uh, you know, you are going to essentially put that in your home. You don't need to buy, you know, a multi-thousand dollar battery. Uh, you are going to put that as part of your structure. Uh, safe, uh, your cell phone, your portable electronic, you know, the airplane. The airplane is, a, I don't know if you feel, thought about that, but when you have 400 passengers, you know, all of them with DVD player playing at the same time, <laughs> you need power, you know? And I mean, that, that, this is, you know, when you heard the fire that getting, you know, the nickel, uh, uh, nickel ion, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a real problem, you know, here it is, you know? Uh, they use uh, composite material, you know, we're looking at, you know, maybe using that in the drone, and of course, you know, uh, you know, on a on a on a health and medical plan, you know, to work with prosthesis, uh, which means we have, uh, you know, we have big heart. Uh, it is it is a new program uh, that we are starting, and uh, you know, I thought that uh, I was here to share that story with you, which essentially has a potential to 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 really uh, you know impact uh, where we're going to. Uh, that's what I wanted to to share with you. And uh, that was, uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be here. Thank you.